Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is another spares idea for you, a very, very quick one because it's Thursday, the video's dropped tonight and luckily I saw a fantastic idea on the Leftover Diamonds page on Facebook and uh, this lady posted this idea and I thought it was a bloody brilliant idea. Absolute genius because I've been trying to think of ways to use these green trays I know I'm saving them up to send to my nephews, but I'm trying to think of other ways for you guys. Like in my head, I could not think of anything. And this lady posted this idea. So Deborah Thompson, thank you ever so much. She posted it and I asked her if it was okay to use her idea for the Facebook page. This isn't an original idea of my own. I did, did not come up with this idea. So I want to stress that, but she's given me permission to use her idea. And her idea is absolutely brilliant. She's created these, and I'll post a picture of what she done. Uh, and, and I'm just going to interpret it myself into basically what she did, maybe a bit of a twist. So, she's used these little green trays, and she's made Christmas decorations out of them, and fridge magnets and other stuff like that. And I thought that was a bloody brilliant idea. Absolutely brilliant. So I am going to use her idea and I am going to try it like interpret it myself into what I think and everything into turning these into a Christmas decoration or fridge magnet, etc. etc. Because what she did was brilliant and I was so impressed with it. And I obviously I asked her if it was okay if to use her idea. And she said, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Let her know when the video's up and everything. So, yeah. Deborah, thank you ever so much. You have saved me today because my video's due up tonight. And I haven't even had chance to, well, I've had issues with my laptop. I'm trying to start editing on my laptop and everything. And it's just taking me three days to sort out this issue on my laptop. Because I had loaded up a video for a fan sales review. And I went to just double check it on my computer yesterday with my mum and it's just the whole screen's just pink and just you can hear me talking but nothing's going on so yeah you have saved me and thank you ever so much I so appreciate it so I'm going to change the screen around and show you guys how I'm going to interpret Deborah's idea Deb, yeah Deborah's idea into these little hanging ornaments so yeah and fridge magnets and everything else so deborah thank you ever so much and we will get cracking into it right so i literally just got the light pad here just so i know i'm in shot um because i have a habit of forgetting where i am in the shot and everything so yeah so the things i've got now is some spray paint i, I have a few different spray paints I'm um, the local rebel goes around spray painting. No, I'm not. <laughs> I just literally I bought this cheap when one of my my local home base was closing down, and it's just been sat in the cupboard. So, by four, it's a it's a red, so it should do. Our green tray, and I've got some sandpaper, and you'll figure out why I got the sandpaper in a second. So, and yeah, obviously we're getting the spare drills, which I'm going to get in a minute and i'll say i will um get me um what do you call it oh god Gemma. uh um double side tape as well so let's get cracking on with this so what i'm going to do is i want to just try and make this a bit more smoother. Deborah actually, like uh, the picture, hopefully I remembered to insert, is she inserted a picture into here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this into a um, fridge magnet instead. And as I'm going to be drilling the whole area, basically. So I'm going to need to get these just down slightly just so they're not so right even though obviously it will help keep the drills in line but i just want them to be a little bit more lower basically and give all the paint a bit of grip hence why i've got the sandpaper out as well so i've got a bit of sandpaper and what i'm going to do is all over it 
go all over it just to give the paint some grip. Like when you um, repaint like some furniture and all that. Well, when I did the frame, when I do my frames, I always just go over it with a bit of sandpaper just to create some grit. And that means I can wear these down just slightly. And turn it around. So I did the bottom part. And then the inside. So I'm just going out of frame here, but just so I can make sure I get the inside rim. So I've gone all over it, just get rid of all the excess dust and everything. So now I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see like the scratches where I've gone over it with the sandpaper. It just gives the paint a bit of grip. So I'll go outside. I'm, I don't think you guys need to see me spray paint a bit of plastic, do you? So yeah, just go outside and spray paint it with some plastic. And yeah, that's... I'll be back in just as soon as this has. So our uh, tray is painting. I changed my mind and I went with black. I know Gemma always changes her mind, but um, I just felt that my my kitchen. I've got like grey tiles and you know it's more of a darker colour than a lighter colour. So I just thought to match my kitchen, I will. Thingy. So I've just got one of the rubbish, more rubbish sets of tweezers just to create a little less like resistance on it all. So I'm going to leave this for a while to dry and I will come back to it. And I think it should look pretty good when done. All right. So as this is drying, and it's drying very nicely, just make sure when you like spraying everything, you do it in a well-ventilated place, which is why I always do it outside. So you do risk like the chance of getting um, dust on it and everything from outside. But I just find that it gives you less chance of actually getting like spray paint everywhere. So I've found a fridge magnet. I've got three of these, so I know I can... That's why like, everyone keeps buying me these. So at the moment, I've got three of them. So I know that I, and each one of them has got two magnets at the back. So I know I can sacrifice one of my fridge magnets. Well, actually, I can sacrifice the second one as well. But yeah, I've got three of these. So I thought, right, I use one of these because it's got fridge magnets on the back. Obviously, being a fridge magnet, word well on Gemma. You know, genius of the year there. So yeah, I know I can reuse some of these fridge magnets. And to be honest, I might, might not even need to um, re glue this. But if not, I'll just stick a bit of double side tape, that will work. And I thought to myself, right, I will still kind of carry on with um, Deborah's idea. Instead of using, like doing the Christmas idea, I thought I will put a picture on it from my wedding so 
we just might not even have a decent one in this pile but oh one might it might just let me what do you think that's my husband that's me but i look different eh? and i didn't lose weight for my wedding i was that size i just thought i'd put that out there all right uh, let me just check to see if this picture would be ideal it would yeah it would fit actually I don't know if you can see it through the thing, but that one would work. Uh, I've had to turn this one into an actual custom. That one wouldn't work because my head's too big. I actually had a um, Bentley for my wedding car. And me and the husband. That one would work, yeah. So, this one would work. Obviously, I'm just covering up the two other people. I don't want their pictures to be all over the internet, but that one would work as well. This isn't obviously all my photos for my wedding, but I love this one as well. Obviously that one wouldn't fit, but it's still a beautiful photo. I love that photo. I think, yeah, I turned that one into a custom two. That one might fit. Yeah, that one would fit too. Check. Yeah, that would fit lovely. That would really fit nice. And I'm going to get some of my dress into that one. So that one, we're actually closer together than that one. My nose looks big in that one. This isn't all my wedding photos. I've got loads more. I think, I think I'll go black and white because I do prefer black and white. So what I'll do, I'll get like the rest of everything else prepped as I'm waiting for the um, tray to dry, the original tray. So what I'll do is turn my light pad on. Why don't I know that in the first place, hey guys? So I turn my light pad on, turn the brightness up so I can see it, line it up, and then, all right, let me just grab me, grab a pen or a craft knife or a pencil or anything basically. What I'll do, I'll go through a pencil because I don't, I've scratched this up so many times going through things and I'm ruining my um, thingy. So if I straighten that up there, don't know why that make any difference, but in my head it does. And so at least in the... Um, light pad icon thingy so so what you could do is also it's just use your like pair your sharp okay yeah there they are can't see how my thing i'm doing and just use your sharp tweezers and just score around where you want and just hope obviously I have got all these saved onto memory discs so I'm just going to grab me scissors but as you can see I've like scratched around and everything so you yeah you guys can please hear that 
size cut to it. Now, LC is not. There we go. Let's turn that off. And does it fit? It fits perfectly inside there. If I might have to just slightly trim the bottom, which is extremely slightly. And yeah, that will fit inside our black one perfectly. So what you could do, if you don't mind about the green showing through, you can just instantly just decorate it. And what you, what else you could do is I I wanted a black background or just a plain colour black ground, so I knew that that nothing would show through. But you could just put the drills on, then not and then do fine glitter, like I've done before with other projects. Uh, I don't think I've got my flying glitter in here. I think I've left it in the living room from doing something else. I can't remember what I was doing. I was mostly doing something, but yeah. A nice flying glitter. Let's just see if this is... Still a little bit tacky, so we're going to leave it a bit longer. But yeah, that's our picture ready for us to go. And let's get together our drill. Right, so our tray is almost dry. It's just the underneath is a little bit tacky still, but I'm still just going to carry on anyway because I should be able to get away with doing the rest of it. So I'm not going to stick the picture in yet. I'm going to do that last after I've varnished it. I'm still going to varnish this project because it's going to be going in the kitchen. So... And I'm going to see which one of these two, because obviously, as you can see, these two rolls of tape are just slightly different sizes. And and it looks like it will be this one. So this bit is going to be quite fiddly, because obviously we are... So if I turn that around, make that bit, try and stand up a bit more. Let me. So I'm going to stick this on. It's going to be quite fiddly, so we've just got to try and get it around the edges. Yep, so I am out of space on me phone again. So I'm just uh, removing all the tape and a bit needs a bit longer. And I will come back in a second and show you what colours I will be using. So I've taken off all of the white paper off the double sided tape and I picked like a grey and a like a clear um the rhinestone ones for these ones basically and a grey just to tie in with the colour of my kitchen basically. Otherwise it's just gonna look uh well you can make it whatever colour you want really. You don't have to stick in with the colour of your kitchen like I've done. But I thought that I would just to uh, thingy basically. So I am going to get cracking on with this. And I think what I'm going to do, because it's quite a straight edge actually. I did have. I'm not... <laughs> oh, I'll do free drill. Just try and speed this up so slightly
I've stuck all the diamonds on around the edge. I did knock off a bit of paint there, but it's fine. As you can see, still slightly wet, but nothing too major. And yeah, so I have done two types of greys and a clear just to bling it up a little bit and add a bit more sparkle basically. So I'm going to get our photo. So I've just stuck some dull side tape to the back of the photo, peel it off. And Obviously, where we've put the uh, drills on, you just got to try and push it in slightly. You have to use your... Well, you might have to do what I've got to do and just take it out. And just trim it down slightly, which is no big deal. And there we go. What do you guys think? Obviously, I haven't sealed it. So I can easily remove the photo. I'm just obviously showing you what I'd like when it's sealed. Just so you guys all know. Because obviously, I've got to get this video cut and uploaded and everything. And I think there might be a... Yes, there is. You can see there's an escapey drill there so yeah and then i shall get me a fridge magnet stick it on the back obviously you can decorate the sides here if you want i'm not going to bother right now because obviously time is getting on for me I need to get this video cut and everything in time so I can get it done. So our fridge magna is done. So what do you guys think? I think I know you can see the ring light reflecting in there. But yeah, there you go, more or less there. So I think it looks absolutely fab. I think Deborah's come up with a fantastic idea. We've got our magnet on the back there. So yeah, absolutely thrilled with the results of this. I think it looks really nice. And yeah, so I will be doing this again, but with Christmas decorations, as a Christmas decoration. But I thought I'd show you how to do it as a mid fridge magnet first because it's not quite Christmas yet. So I will be doing this uh, the same idea for Christmas decorations later on in the year for yeah for christmas basically so i must be doing about october time november time so that it gives people a chance to get them done but yeah this will also make a lovely little gift for people too really pleased with how it's come out i think it looks very pretty and it will suit my theme you know the colors for my kitchen so yeah really pleased with it i shall stick them onto this to show the fridge magnet does it. Ah, there you go. See, the fridge magnet works perfect. So, yeah, it will look really nice on the fridge. So, yeah, nice little keepsake for people as well. Could make nice little cute little gifts for Christmas. So yeah, definitely a good little idea. So thank you ever so much, Deborah, for allowing me to copy your idea for these green trays. 
I really do appreciate it. I know I've said it several times already, but yeah, I honestly do appreciate it. You've really saved me today because I'm going to go edit this video right now, get it onto cut and everything, and get it onto YouTube. So let's get. So I need to get cracking basically so thank you ever so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you haven't already please subscribe I really appreciate it leave me a comment down below of what you think of Deborah Deborah I'm really sorry if that's what not what you actually call yourself because I know some some Deborahs prefer to be called Debbie so yeah I apologize if you don't like being called Deborah and you prefer to be called Debbie please let Deb Deborah down Please let Deborah know down below what you think of her idea. I think she has come up with a fantastic idea because everyone, no one, everyone struggles what to do with these green trays. So she's come up with a brilliant idea. And also, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It might be a bit hickle to pick the all over the place because I am rushing. Uh, but I do apologise about that. But I need to get this back. Right, so thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye guys.